What is going on guys, Rated Designs here, and today is going to be an amazing tutorial again on this type of text that you guys will see in front of me. It is basically 3D outline text in Cinema 4D. Um, now most people will, uh, this is basically just an indented 3D text, um, and how, you know, basically, uh, as you guys can see on my newest background, uh, how it gives that nice neon effect to it and um, the nice uh, grid looking thing in the background and you know just uh, the indented and engraved type text. Um, I call it 3D outline because that's really basically what it is. And I'm just going to teach you guys how to make this exact text right here uh, for backgrounds, for speed arts, for whatever it is. But uh, yeah, so let's get started. Um, you're going to actually before we start sorry I wanted to just say um, please guys follow my uh, or check out my Behance uh, I'll leave a link in the bottom of the description of course and definitely check out if you uh, the t-shirt store that I just came out with I'm gonna just start putting up everyone's designs in there if you want to have a design in my t-shirt shop you can have it uh, I'll give you the money for it uh, of course and um, uh, also the video for the winners will be uploaded around Friday of this coming week. Um, it will be closed as of tomorrow, or it will, it will be today at 12 a.m. So um, get your entries in, and then once you guys see them, you know, just uh, I'll try my best to look at all of them. I will look at all of them. I'm going to try my best to judge them perfectly, and uh, thanks for all, everyone who has entered. So, of course, it's amazing. But, um, yes, so... To get started, uh, what you're going to want to do is, in Cinema 4D, you're just going to want to do just a mo text again, of course. Um, you're going to put your text, and for me, it's just going to be rated. Uh, we're going to just choose a nice font. Um, I do want to recommend, if I had to recommend fonts, use a nice thick, blocky font. Um, for this, it makes it just look... a ton, uh, just uh, much better than uh, something thin and uh, line -y or whatever you want to call it, but uh, yeah, so basically we're going to, we'll just use Made in China, we're going to switch the depth to 300, this is exactly how I do it guys, feel free to alter it any other way that you uh, want, uh, we're going to go to caps, now here's what you guys got to follow, make both of these fillet caps. Um, the radius on the start, of course, will be 5, and the radius on the uh, end will be 1. Uh, fillet type, you're going to want to switch from convex to engrave. Now, what engrave does is it takes that start fillet and basically puts it over the text instead of making it a convex where it looks like, you know, um, it's rounded. And it makes it look like it's complete opposite, and it looks like it's concave, where it looks like, you know, it's, um, you know, you're looking in on something and there's a gap, and, you know, course it's uh, engraved of course and uh, indented is I guess what I'm trying to say uh, the start you can the start radius of course for five I usually do around anywhere between three uh, two or three uh, for this one we'll do two um, depending upon what you guys like uh, of course guys you guys uh, will you're going to need two colors of course um, if I had to recommend two colors for these, this type of text, uh, I would definitely use a black and a certain color. But you can use a gray, and uh, we'll use orange, of course, just because I want to spice it up. Now, if you want the orange on the outside just for the line, you want to click on the orange material, go to Selection, click R, capital R, and 1. And what the R1 is going to do is it's going to put the color orange on the outline of the text. So let's see what it looks like when we render it. Now what it should do is it should give you the outline, yes it does, of the text on the outside. Now as you guys can see the little black shadow on the little, you know, kind of on the where the white meets the uh, orange, there's just a little shadow that gives it the engraved effect. And what that's going to do of course is going to just make it look beautiful, make it look perfect. Um, of course, guys, there's a lot of people out there you guys will see. I don't know. Um, one of the guys out there, I do have to say that this is an amazing tutorial. 
uh, give him 100% credit for this because he pretty much showed everybody and innovated this style. His name is Louis Designs. He was in Soar. He is in Soar, I believe. I don't know if he still is or not, but yeah, definitely give him 100% um, credit for this. This is just how I figured out how to do it. I don't know if this is the way that he did it. Um, also, another person who showed me a little bit of how to do this is a uh, uh, quick. Um, Quick designs, or however I don't know, quick arts, maybe what it is, but all I know is by my little Irishman. But uh, yeah, it's uh, quick. Uh, best definitely showed me, and Paro, of course. So uh, the insane modeler. So yeah, if those guys are really ones to show me, um, you can switch them, of course. You know, with different colors. So you know, if you want to do purple or blue or red, you know, just depending upon what you want to do. But uh, for this one, we'll. Mm. We'll do, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep it on orange. And then the inner will, I mean, we could do a black, we can do a, you know, we'll just, we'll stick with gray. But um, yeah, so just save it as rated thing. And we're just going to render it, render it out real quick. Um, what's this, you know, if I had to say what this is best used on is definitely partner backgrounds and um, reason is is because uh, non-partner backgrounds um, kind of want to just keep everything clean tight in one area not kind of you know be able to expand uh, you could probably do them on non-partner backgrounds um, and make them look good if you know what you're doing with these type of stuff but uh, definitely recommend using these on partner backgrounds um, when we get into Photoshop and you know how I set up the text for just this, uh, you guys will definitely, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this one because this has been requested many times. And then next tutorial I will have, um, which will be the next tutorial video, will be gradient mapping and just making, you know, color correcting stuff and making sure that you uh, color correct it right instead of, you know, change the color because, of course, that's, uh, that's, we'll save that for the next video. But yeah, as you guys have this rendered, um, there we go. We're just going to go into Photoshop. I have this whole setup, sorry. Already I was making a whole little thingy, but um, we're just going to go down to my rated thing that I created. And um, yeah, we're just going to drag it on in here. As you guys can see, just once again, that little black shadow gives it the engraved effect, of course. Uh, we're just going to shrink it up a little bit um, to just the size that's nice for me. Um, we're going to go into our effects. We're going to go to gradient overlay and switch it to overlay. Now, of course, you guys know what that's going to do. Um, we're going to switch this to about 50. Nah. 75 and 100 and we're just going to make sure that it looks perfect for me uh, drop shadow uh, distance 0 now here's where it differs from my other 3d text tutorial uh, I use a 30 spread 20 that's the same but instead of keeping it at 100% opacity we switch to 50 makes it 10 times better on a background. I've been screwing with it, just makes it a little, look more realistic, shall I say. Um, what we're gonna do is, is everybody, you guys are gonna learn the gloss from me. But this is how I gloss my text. Uh, you're gonna make a clipping mask, create a new layer. You're gonna take a straight line with the pen tool, make a rectangle, you know, weird rectangle, hexagon type of thingy, and just fill it with white. Switch, go, go to our effects. Go to zero distance, 30 spread, 20 distance, 100%, or 20 size, sorry, spread, 30, and zero distance, 100% opacity. Hit OK, switch the blend mode to overlay, and then go to about 15, eh, 10, 15%, and merge down. Now, of course, you guys know that that's going to make the text nice and beautiful. Um, then we're gonna go to you know a texture or two uh, in my texture pack in my pack uh, pack one I believe the 10k pack I have a bunch of textures um, choose whatever you want uh, the most common one that you'll see me use um, is Machinima logo it's one I don't know why it's labeled that but it's just this cracked texture right here 
and we're going to shrink it down. And make it so not too overwhelming. Perfect. Create a clipping mask. Overlay 50%, eh, 35%, now that it's white. Merge down. Duplicate the text layer. Flip the copy behind the original text layer. And in Photoshop CS6, you can rasterize the layer style. So rasterize the layer style. Hit transform, of course, command T. Oh, wait, yeah, command T. Make this, you know, bigger. And just erase the bottom. Whoop. Sorry about that. Oh, wrong one. There you go. And yeah, just erase the bottom. Maybe a little bit on the sides. And then switch the blend mode to color dodge. And about 15%. And that's it. I mean, that's basically my text right now is what I'm using. Um, of course, I use a flare. And um, flares, it's in my pack again. You just go to the uh, 10K pack one. It's the blue flare. Command, or Command Alt U or Control Alt U to switch the hue. And we go to a nice orange. And you can just screw around with it. Um, of course, as you guys see in my new purple background, I just made little highlights, of course, of where areas that I kind of wanted it to be at. So right here. Uh, with flares, you guys want to make sure that you find the, you know, areas where you want it to, you know, the flare to, uh, where it makes sense to have a flare, you know, and where light should be where light shouldn't be it's just all lighting and that's basically my text guys um i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of course um i will show you guys um sorry i have to add curves because it's a it's a habit of mine but um yeah for anybody who uh, has questions please leave comments um for people that have uh suggestions for more tutorials for more anything Please leave comments, like the shit out of this video, of course, guys. Um, I just hope you guys really enjoy this video for, you know, the engraved text. It's been one of the biggest things that I think people have been asking me. Um, and same thing with the gradient mapping tutorial, so that one will be coming out very shortly for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Please go check out my Twitter, my Behance. Check out uh, a bunch of my friends' channels. Check out my channel. Subscribe, rate, comment. I am Ray Designs, and I hope you guys enjoyed. So, peace.